Hello and welcome back to another village, Finbrook. So we're going to take a walk and see what's uh, what's here, what isn't, so we can see and what we can't like we normally do. Tell you what though, where we're parked down here looks nice. So I just want to point that out for a start anyway. It does, it looks really nice down there. Oh, beautiful. Meadow Drive, that's where we are, that's where we park. So right, let's uh, take a walk and let's see what Binbrook's got to offer. Now I know we've not been out for a few days apart from the last couple of uploads that we did. But uh, obviously we've been busy sorting other stuff out. <laughs> so then what we did yesterday um, down in Gainsborough, we hope you like that um, nice little pipe across car because it's it is a really nice uh, really nice car so it's a big thumbs up to the gentleman who owns it and uh, another big thumbs up to the gentleman for allowing me to film it so thank you so this one here it's called fairway yeah so like I said we'll just take a walk about See what we come across and what we don't. Nice. And that one over there is called Chaka. That's an unusual name for a small bungalow. I like this sign as well. So we'll show you this sign. I suppose it's a good thing really, people putting that up. I mean a lot of people what does own dogs, well as you know, they don't clean up after them. Lexi. Lexi. This way. Lexi. Switch on. Sorry. No, you're quite alright. She's in a word Yeah, you're alright. She doesn't want to go this way, but I do. <laughs> so I just want to show you this place at the back of me as well, how nice it really does look. That absolutely is gorgeous, that is. It really is. Reesmere. It's a good name. And then we'll just put a dog on as well, look. Nice little dog there, look. The owner wants to go one way and the dog wants to go the other. So, on to my left hand side then. You've got cycling bins. So you've got Binbrook Motors. So a bit of advertising for Binbrook Motors. And there it is. And then just across the road, you've also got that sign there, and it says Binbrook Bowling Club. No members welcome. So yeah, so that's Binbrook Motors. It's just there right behind me. So if you're calling through and you need fuel and stuff, bingo. Right, we'll crack on. And there's a Tesla. Now, from what we've seen, we have actually driven through this place a few days ago. And does anybody want a cheap Mini? £2,995, one there. And there's a nice 4x4 as well, if anybody's interested. <coughs> yeah, anyway, I was saying, we uh, drove through here a few days ago. And it didn't look a bad place at all. Now obviously, when you're driving, as you know, you don't really see very much because you're concentrating on your driving, but yeah. So just across the road then, you've got the old police house, just there. That is really nice, that, unusual, very unusual. And then just to my left here, you've got Gordale, which is just there, but yeah. It's really nice to the old uh, police house. I've just been the camera back round. If you just look up, top of the door, it's even still got the original blue police light on there. Yeah, nice. Unusual. But it is nice, that. It really is. Now, this is what we noticed. We did notice this here. 
We actually did notice this where Keely stood. That. So there's a bit of a plaque here that I'm just going to bring the camera in. The Grinsby Road pump. Oh, the dog won. So yeah, so you want to read that, obviously. Pause it. So anyway, yeah, so that's the old police house. Strange, unusual. Now that is, we did not see that actually uh, when we drove through. I'm totally honest with you, we did not see it. But it doesn't make no odds. We point it out now. But it does look really nice with that police light on the uh, top of the door. Wonderful. So then you've got. North Halls, which is, excuse me, just down there. And there's an England flag as well further up there, so just sort of pointing that out. So I'm just extending the camera slightly. <coughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll be honest with you, looks really nice here. Like I said, we, we drove through it, and uh, I said to Keely, I said, it, it looks a uh, Pretty decent place. Oh, that done been broke. Oh, let's just crack on up here and have a look. So, alright, we did one of the villages and I think it connects on to this one, but we're not certain. But we'll just take a walk and just have a look. So the church is over there, just in the background. Uh, the sign. Right, we'll take that public footpath in a minute. And then it'll take us over. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to spin the camera around so you can see the sign across the road, what says Binbrook on it. Just there where my finger is. So right, we'll take that public footpath then, which is there where the steps are, and it takes us over. And then we'll go out. We'll just pop up over and let's have a look. Might as well. So right, we'll take these steps then, and then we'll just go and have a look, see what's up here and what isn't. It says public footpath. Um, there's some steps here so we might as well just go up because I think it could take us back to where we parked as well so if it does brilliant all right just be careful now hold on to the rail yeah it's mud oh well just take it easy I'm just careful you don't trip over these bits of wood and stuff. Nice view though. I'm gonna be honest. Nice view. Same on that side. Nice view as well. Yeah, so one of the villages, I think, like we said, it connects on to Bimbrook. The old crow's going at it. Don't you just love walking down these little side places to see where it goes? And of course there's a dog down here barking somewhere. Probably can hear it. Acorns everywhere. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, I used to collect them. Acorns. And then I used to paint them. Bit of a weird one. I can hear some nice wind chimes as well. Yeah, like I said, when you're walking down little places like these, and you just don't know where it takes you to. Right, so, 
where we're parked I'll just spin the camera and I'll show you and it looks like you can actually walk straight to it that's not bad then but it's brought you on to like a, a little estate doesn't look too bad though yeah we can so it looks like there's public footpath down that bottom end so if you do ever come here there's a public footpath down there so you'll be able to just walk back down there if you park somewhere that area let me just bring this camera just slightly forward that's better but yeah view's nice nice bungalows and you can see for yourself nice little uh, cul-de-sac to be totally honest Conifers, that's what that one's called. <laughs> and then that one's called Keepers. And then window cleaners. Pre advertising for the window cleaners. Tell you one, one thing though, when you're in cul de sacs, it's just so nice that people keep the gardens looking absolutely spot on. It really is. Because <coughs> then that just goes to show you how much people have got respect for their own properties. Right, the church is down here, so we're just going to take a look where the church, well, the church is here. So I'm just going to come to this road here. Now, of course, you can go back that way towards uh, Caster and that. So what we're going to do, we're going to go well into the church, then we're going to take a walk up there and have a look, see what is up there and what isn't. So first thing I come across before we even get in the church is this old light. Is that. That is really nice. Now, when you see things about dog fouling, it's so nice that people put signs up just to pre-warn everybody to pick up the dog mess. Right, so it is the first St. Mary's, St. Gabriel, Pintbrook. I mean, nice little archway that you come through. So what we'll do, we'll walk around the path first Wow, that's big. Yeah, so we'll take a walk around the path first and then we'll take a walk around the church. Right, I have just noticed something else before I just show you the front of the church. If you look over my shoulder, and look straight down where my finger is. Now we've seen one of these in another village that we did. Yeah. yeah it's a really nice church, to be totally honest. Now we don't know where this path takes you um, because it takes you down the side of the church and then it takes you back out onto the road. Oh, the fire service is across the road as well. So what we'll do, we'll, uh, we'll try and get you some of that as well. Because it's just straight across the road. But I'll tell you something, it does look an absolutely stunning church. It really, really does. And I mean that, seriously. Yeah, so across the road, 
there's your fire station so we're just going to walk around the grass now and then walk to where to the other side of the church is and then we're going to go when we come back out of church we're going to walk straight up that path and we'll see what's just up that hill well yeah it's a really nice church so right, I'm just going to walk where are you going? Yeah, I know, I just want to... Eh? So what I'll do, I'll just come further down. There's also a door down there as well. So I'm just going to walk further down and then hopefully... Oh wow, I have just seen something as well, I'll show you that. Yeah, so I'm just going to go around this side because in some of the churches that we have filmed I haven't come across this them steps leading up to that door that is one thing I have not come across when we've done churches so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come further up and then I'm going to try and give you some more footage from the back of this grave Well, what an absolute stunning church it is. Keeley. I'm going to walk this way round and I'll meet you back on that path. Alright. Well, yeah. What a stunning church. Wow. Bit of a date on the church itself, like on a plaque, but I don't know what. Still a nice church, though. Really is lovely. Let's see the churchyard as well. How lovely it is, and how well kept it is as well. Very unusual. And then the tap is just through the gate. Now, I don't know where Keeley's gone. Oh, there's another door here as well. Just over there. Well, now let's go see where Keeley is. Oh, she's down the bottom. But yeah, absolutely lovely church. It really is. It's nice. <laughs> he sat down taking a break. Well, yeah, what a church, eh? Big. It's a very big church. Nice, though. It's really nice. All right, you ready? No, I've only shown it. St. Mary's Lane, that's what's across the road where the fire service is. 
So right, so we're going to head back up that way, past the church, and we're going to head up to the top, and we're just going to take a look to see what is up there. Every dog has its day. Yeah, so just across the road, like I said, we noticed one of these in one of the other villages that we that we filmed. And it's just right down there at the bottom there. But yeah, I've got to be honest, it seems a seems a nice place. Binbrook. Don't look too bad at all. Church stands out, that's a good thing. It really does. It really does stand out, brilliant. Well that light, that old light, as soon as you come to the gate, honestly it's really nice that, because you don't normally see them the minute you walk into a churchyard, you really don't. So it's different, unusual. And then you've got Manor Drive obviously, which is just here where we've come from. Some very old steps just across the road. And you can tell how old they are, definitely. Oh, that Keely's looking at somewhere here. Oh, that shed. So, yeah, very old steps. Well, I'll bring you back in one minute. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, so this is a bit of a steep hill. Now there's a pub across the road as well. So we're going to show you the front of the pub. Then I think we'll cross over when we get round this corner because there is some bits just across the road there, and I've noticed. On one of the properties, there's a name. So right, I'll spin the camera around and we'll show you the Plough Pub first. Right, wait a minute, wait, there's a car. So right, so that's the Plough. Right, come on. Yeah, as you can see how this bend is. So, yeah, I was, was going to say, yeah, because that's the Plough Pub. Now, just up here, I did actually look on something a few days back about Bimbrook, and apparently it used to have two pubs. That, I believe, was one of them, and there was another one further down here. Yeah, van coming. But anyway, that is really nice. That is very nice, that. It is really nice. Hey. Right? Oh, at what church? Oh, no. Yeah, so anyway, the property that I noticed with the name on it is here right behind me. It's called Ivy, Ivy House. And that is what I spotted from over there. So I thought, well, if we just come and have a look. Now, there's another house here. Well, actually, it's Cottage. Right, it's called The Cottage. And that is absolutely stunning, that is. It really is. But that building I've just showed you, I mean, you can tell the age of that. That, because the age just stands out on it. <laughs> I 
right that's the reason why then the age stands out because it's actually the old rectory so that's the reason why nice though keeps one side oh it's gone that way <laughs> so right um so where we are now there's a sign here it says balmead which is just there and then of course just say you've got Spring Hill so you know what I mean so at the end of the day you can understand why it's called Spring Hill because obviously it goes down a hill but there is just something here that I'm just gonna take a walk down and show you actually I'm not gonna go all the way down because I don't want to go on people's properties but I've just noticed this down here So, so that's the reason why that's called Spring Hill, obviously, appreciate. So then you've got Balmead, as I've just pointed out there. I'm just going to take a walk just slightly up here, because on the wall there's a, a round plaque with a name on. So I might as well just take a look at that as well while we're here, and then we're going to walk back up. Right, so this one is Fern House. So this one here behind me, that one is Fern House. And then just across the road here, now I didn't know what it was, but of course, Binbrook Surgery. So I'll just come into the car park and I'll just spin the camera around because just over here, there's I'll just go show you it anyway and then we'll take a walk back down then right so on this wall over here and that's what I spotted East House and that looks really nice as well looks really nice So obviously Binbrook surgery is there. Now if you look over my shoulder in the background, that is a stunning view. That is a very, very stunning view that. It's nice. I like the view. So right, so we're gonna crack on further up and uh, we're gonna see whatever else is here. So as what I said as a driver, you miss 99.9% .9 of everything as a driver well when you're walking about ah and there's also another walkway as well another public footpath no it's uh, an extension where it's that oh it is <laughs> bring, I'll bring you back in one minute it's that lady right just behind me this property um, what is owned by a lady that one there, it was built in 1965, because the lady just told me. Now she said there's a big manor house uh, across the road as well. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna walk um, further into Binbrook, and we're gonna go and take a look, obviously further over there where that car is, and go see what we can see and what we can't see. So right, you ready? Yeah, and the ladies just turned around and said as well, the yellow part, that was built before that. Because the lady just told me as well, so she just give me a little bit of history on that. Now we're going to where this new one. Where? New Walsall. Oh, she? Oh, bless her. She's been there for a long years. Oh, well, wow. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, so we're just going to walk up further into Binbrook now. Uh, I'm going to walk past the pub. Um, and the lady said across the road, uh, the big building uh, is called the Manor House. And to be totally honest, I think I understand why it's called the Manor House. To be totally honest. Anyway, so you've got the pub car park, which is just here to my left. That's the pub car park. And this one where me and Keely is walking, it's called Back Lane. So right, so we're going to walk past the plough. No, we're going to 
we'll stay on this side because we can go up to where all the shops and that is and then cross back over on the way back down and then we can follow it back round to the car then uh, right so yeah so this is the plough and it looks a stunning pub it really does look a very very stunning pub and then I mean that as well being honest it really does looks stunning yeah it's all right Well, this is the only thing you've got to watch. Is that bad then? I'll just show you whatever we can, whatever we come across while we're walking, as we normally do, and we just show you whatever's here. Uh, beans, B17 cafe. What's that one? We've got another. Small plaque here, Ganeri Steps. So the manor house is, what's that there? Oh, hang on, I'll, I'll have a look at that as well. So the lady said that one there is called the manor house. And I'm gonna show you this as well. Right, we're gonna walk up here, up to where these shops are. Ah, right. Right, if you're going to cross over, hurry up then. Yeah, well what I'll do, I'm going to walk up in and I'll come round to you. Because there's something over there that we're going to take a look at as well. <coughs> I'll tell you what though, to say the manor house, you can definitely tell it's huge. Nice though, it is very very nice. Right, so I've just noticed over here as well, um, another plaque which is actually onto the wall. The old butcher's shop. Nice goldfish. Right, so that's what I wanted to show you on that one. There is just across the road here, I'm not gonna go all the way up because I'm obviously not gonna leave Keeley far. As I never do anyway but I'll just show you what it says over here and of course this is High Street so I'm just gonna get out of the way of this van because I've just noticed something else over here as well Hair and beauty salon. And then of course, um, it's one marketplace, that's where I'm stood. Then you've got uh, Manor View stores which is just there behind me as well, so you got that as well. And to be honest, it doesn't look a bad little place here. Now, there is just something here that I'm gonna show you as well, of course. But of course, you do have the red phone box, which is there as well. You've got uh, Sing, Sing Payo, which is just across the road there. I'm not exactly certain what that is um, without actually going over there. But what I am gonna show you is, this really old light. That is really, really nice as well, that, for an old light. And then, of course, next to that, you've got an old water pump. So I might as well show you the water pump while we're here as well. Right, so we're gonna cross over now. To where the bus stop is. Because in the bus stop, it's unusual the artwork what's gone into this so I'll just bring the camera in and we'll try and get you the artwork because I'll tell you what though it is really really nice absolutely nice swear to god it is and 
and then you do have the community notice board as well behind me which is also nice as well because at the end of the day at least it keeps the community up to date with things but that absolutely that is gorgeous that is now that is something you do not find in a bus stop well that is nice right so we're going to walk down to where keely is as well in a minute <laughs> Bimbrook Parish Council. So, yeah, Manor House. And this is what I saw as well. Now, this, I do like this. I really do like this. Because that is absolutely gorgeous. It really is. And if I just move the camera to one side. But that is really nice right so manor house it's here so what we'll do we'll start with near the gate which is there and then what i'll do i'll just hold the camera up and then you can take a better look at what the manor house is and i like what's on the actual uh, pillars as well where my finger is because there's one there there's one on the other side But yeah absolutely so right we're going to come to the board now and i'll show you the gate on the other side as well but we'll come to the board where keely was and we'll show you the big board well yeah that is absolutely Lovely. It's all right. So I'm going to come to the other side. I'm just going to. I'm just going to ask this gentleman if he'll just pull that dog a little bit. So this is. I uh, know. I'm going to show the dog anyway. I have to. But anyway, there's there's the manor house. To make sure I don't conk anybody on the head. So anyway, the where my finger is there, obviously there's that one, and there's obviously that one as well, and it, it does look really nice. So I'll tell you what, let's grab a dog. <laughs> on Daisy, you're on telly. <laughs> Say hello, Daisy. Daisy. And there you go, everybody. That's little Daisy for you. Okay. So it's. Okay. There's one person living in the manor house. Wow. Oh, no. Pause it a minute. Pause it. Right, I'll bring you back in one minute. Right, the church, um, gentleman just told me, the church is 1869. So I don't need to look up the date of it now. A farmer owned that and his wife. And the person what's living in it now is the one Right, so a farmer and his, wife. and his wife used to live there. Got a divorce. They got a divorce. And then someone else has bought the manor house for one million. Wow. Right, so what I didn't notice, and Keely just walked past it and Keely didn't see it. And it's just It's just there. Because we did not see that. Right, so we're gonna crack on. I've shown it, it's brilliant. You've got a defib, which is there as well. So right, so we're gonna walk up where we said, and we're gonna walk back round, and it's gonna go back down to them bungalows where we're parked. Now, the gentleman's also just explained something else as well about up here. I don't wanna miss these bits if I can help it. I'm sorry everybody, but if you see it, why not film it? That's really nice, that as well. Farmbrook Cottage. Nice. Yeah, so apparently the church, what what we just filmed shortly ago, apparently there's a, another bit that, I tell you, I'm getting distracted here. 
Rainbow Cottage. Really nice. Yeah, so apparently there's a, another part um, to the actual church, but apparently it's like, obviously, it's like the older part to that church. Right, Keely, hang on a minute. I've just spotted some over the road here. Right, there's three. There's three that plaques that I want to show you. So we'll start off with the first one. Appleton Cottage, there's the first one. So we'll go to the second one. Kemp Cottage. And then we'll come to the third one, the White House. So we understand why it's called the White House. It's totally understandable. <laughs> so right, so we're gonna crack on. Crack on down here now. So let's give you a quick 360. So I've just noticed something else right behind me. So I'll just get you the this one as well. Carrier's cottage. And there's another small plaque just underneath it. <laughs> so I didn't want to miss that, to be honest. Oh, it's tyres. Yeah, we can get back to... Yeah. Anyway, so this has been Brook, and it's been a pleasure to have a bit of a walk and show you some different bits, obviously, like we normally do. Now, the bench across the road, I'm not going to go walking across the road, but if you can actually see it, the actual bench has got Bimbrook going through it. Which is nice to see as well. Yeah, he said something about some old part... Um, of a church like the, the actual yeah, it got knocked down right yeah apparently it got knocked down but, but on that on that uh, board um it got neglected right i'm just gonna pop over here for a second i'll come straight back oh better hurry up bloody lorry coming right keely it's one minute because I've just noticed something else up here as well. And it is absolutely nice as well. Ingleside. And it is nice. And you can tell the age as well. But it is absolutely gorgeous. I didn't want to miss that. I didn't, didn't want to miss the name of it. So right, we'll carry on. Back now, down to where the car is. So of course, here's your big sign of Bimbrook. And then just down here. Let me just bring the camera slightly down. And then hopefully we should be able to So hopefully you've got that. I was going to bring the small extension for things like that, but I left it in the car, so. So yeah, so that other part then, what um, the gentleman said it got knocked down, but apparently there's still like some reminiscence of bits and pieces that you can see. But anyway, it's been a nice walk, different things to see, and it's been well worth coming out today. And these are them wicked steps that we went up the first time.
which took us up to where the church is. Now, these are a cottage just over my shoulder. And if I'm not mistaken, it looks like I'm Pinder. I I A M P I N D A, I am Pinder. Or I am Pinder. Right, I'm just gonna. Keely, I just wanna get that flat. There's a flat just across the road here. And I just wanna go and grab it. And this is an unusual one actually. Now it's first one I've ever seen like that. Now just to my right here, I'm going to spin the camera around anyway and I'm going to show you from this side that water pump. And then I'll just reach all the plaque. And then of course, across the road, the old police house. And I'll tell you something though, it does look absolutely, and it's got a date, 1852. And the date is just there where my finger is. Well that old police light, what's up there? That is very unusual, but I'll tell you something, that's cracking that is. That is absolutely cracking. And especially because it's got a date on it. 1852. The old police house. Yeah, nice. Right, so anyway, we're gonna walk back down here now to where the car is, like I said, because we're parked in them bungalows. So we've shown you what we can here in Binbrook. So you've got Binbrook Motors, which I already showed that on the way. So I will just re-show it as we're going past. And then if you want fuel anytime you're passing through, at least you know you can call here and come and grab some. So that's a good thing as well. Right, knock it. If you're advertising for them. So what I'll do, I'll show you their board. And then of course, like I said, it's some for advertising for Binbrook. There you go. For advertising for Binbrook Motors. Unleaded gas oil diesel. That's what it says there on the pumps. Oh well. So just across the road, I did mention on the way up, you've got Binbrook Bowling Club. No members welcome. Just down on the bottom, I hope you can see that, it says Fern Nursery. Anyway, right, we're going to wrap this video up. Uh, we'll wrap it up. Tell you what, we'll wrap it up here. Sorry. Anyway, it's a big thumbs up from me, it's a big thumbs up from Keely. And we will see each and every one of you on the next one. And thank you for taking time to come with me and Keely around Binbrook to see what we can and can't see. And it's been an absolute pleasure as well to come here today. Uh, weather's all off, which is bloody good. Started spitting the rain early, like, but thank God it didn't um, come down in buckets. So, right, bye for now, and we'll see each and every one of you on the next one. And I'll leave you looking at that. Bye for now.